Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 science fiction film Project Gemini. A film that is directed by Sarik Besu and it stars lots of lovely people whose names uh, I can't pronounce so I'm not going to butcher them here. Because this is a Russian science fiction film, however, it is not subtitled or dubbed, I don't think it's dubbed. Uh, it's got English uh, language in the film, so it is uh, easy to watch if you don't like watching films with subtitles and things like that. Now, I know right now in the world, anything Russian is about as popular as a fart in a spacesuit. Uh, I get that, I understand that. I'm just reviewing this film as uh, a, a film itself, regardless of um, who is behind the film. Right, this film uh, focuses on... Okay, it's the same old story. Earth is doomed, uh, ecological disaster, all that kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. And a group of scientists, astronauts, etc. are off to another planet to terraform it so that we can live on as a race. However, they kind of get lost. Uh, they've got this kind of sphere with them that's like this beacon of hope that's going to help them terraform this new planet. They find this other new planet uh, that can substitute the one they have missed. And as you can imagine, they, all things go completely wrong. Right, what are my thoughts on Project Gemini? Well, this is a, a film with a with an half-decent budget behind it. I think that it's got a budget of about six and a half million, equivalent of something like that. So it's not like a micro-budgeted film or anything like that. Um, so the best thing this film has going for it by far are the effects that are actually pretty decent uh, compared to a lot of low budget science fi fi fiction films that I watch this one stands out from the crowd it's pretty good beyond that there's very little here to recommend because this film is painfully unoriginal in every single way every significant science fiction film that you can think of this film copies it's uh, a copy of uh, it's got aspects of lost in space that it's copied it's got aspects of alien that it's copied right down to you know the the corridors the darkened corridors the they've even got a woman running down the corridors in like you know uh like a bra top and brief sort of thing a bit like sigourney weaver in the first alien and prometheus it's it's a little bit of everything, and it does nothing original off its own back. And that, for me, was the major problem with this film. Not the only problem, but the major problem. There was just not an ounce of originality to it. And it felt like every decision the film made um, felt like it had been pulled from another movie. So it, it wasn't fun to watch because you'd seen it all before. And you've seen it done far, far better than this film can offer. Another problem I had with this film was the performances. Um, they just lacked personality and charisma um, and line delivery. It all just felt like they were reading it from um, like a dummy card behind the camera almost. It was There was no passion in the delivery of the lines at all by anyone. Um, and so, it, again, it made it quite painful to watch at times. Now... I'm not saying the performances are shockingly bad, because I don't think necessarily they are. I think it could have something to do with the fact that some of these performers are maybe Russian or, you know, European in some way, um, and English isn't their first language, and I think that might be the case with some of the cases, but not all of them. Um, and they're not all bad, but when the central performers who are for me just sucking the energy out of the film when they're on screen you just imme I, I immediately lost focus um, and the plot just gets kind of convoluted and confused in the sense of this sphere I didn't really fully understand what it was um, and then almost why it turned against them almost it was Again, for me, it just felt like it was ripping off Prometheus. You know, when they go to this distant planet to find these um, people that created the human race, you know, to meet our creators almost, and we got there, and to be fair to say, we were disappointed because they didn't like us very much. It, it kind of felt like, like this here, that this fear was leading them a certain way 
just to kick him in the balls when they got there. It was it, it just seemed a bit odd and a bit pointless to me. Um, so I, I really struggled with this one, and I shouldn't have done because I said the the effects were good. The, the foundations were there for a good, interesting um, science fiction film, but it just didn't deliver for me. I just didn't feel like. I was engaged at all in this, or excited, or interested, and that was because of so many things, really. And the, you know, there was this terrible love story in the thing as well that was just really dull. Um, again, because mainly because the two characters involved in this love story, you know, they had you know the charisma of garden snails almost. It just didn't work at all. So I think we've got a major missed opportunity. I mean, I mean, Russia has delivered some very interesting uh, and engaging science fiction films this last five, ten years or so. This isn't one to go on the watch list, I would suggest, guys. This is one that I really, really struggled to uh, have any enthusiasm for. I really started losing focus watching this one because there was just no originality in it, uh, no excitement, and everything just felt done and done better before in other films so i'm gonna to have to give this one a four out of ten i just didn't uh, enjoy this one at all guys so let me know in the comments if you've seen this one um, and of course i'll be back with plenty more reviews and content on the channel very very soon